Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage! So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Oh my god, I love your bracelet. Where did you get it? You have no style or sense of fashion. I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. There is some reason that my coffee isn't here. Has she died or something? I don't understand why it's so difficult to confirm the point. No, I'm so sorry, Miranda. I actually did the confirm last night. The of your incompetence do not interest me. And if you don't have that Harry Potter book by then, don't even bother coming back. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants to be us. Join your new bathroom over at Elizabeth's. Nice to have your own. In an Abilene. Yes, ma'am. And I thank you. Separate, but equal. Gather the faithful. If it's a war Aslan wants, <laughs> it's a war he shall get. Press your luck, Charles. I don't think I can stop them all. Still unwilling to make sacrifices. Eh? I will ask thee one final time. Yes? What hast thou done with my son, Thackeray? Thackeray. Mm -hmm. Answer me! Well, I don't know. Cat's got my tongue. <laughs> My ungodly book speaks to you when all hallows eve and the moon is around. A virgin will summon us from under the ground. <laughs> we shall be back, and the lives of all the children shall be mine. <laughs> ah, love, a dreadful ball. And yet, so easily severed. Uh, tell me, William Tanner, do you fear death? Did you steal my tongues? No, Your Majesty. Squimberry juice. I was so hungry! I didn't mean Open to. Open the dead! My family. Oh, please, please don't. No, I have little ones to look after. Go to his house and collect the little ones. I love tepals on toast almost as much as I love caviar. <laughs> How could you? How could I otherwise? I will not have anyone associate my daughters with you. It would ruin their prospects to be seen arriving with a ragged servant girl. Because that is what you are. And that is what you will always be. Now mark my words. You shall not go to the ball. distressed at not receiving an invitation. You're not welcome here. <laughs> oh dear. What an awkward situation. You were soft. At three? I didn't stay home making apple brown Bettys. No, I made you a champion. 
knowing you'd hate me for it. That's the sacrifice a mother makes. I wish I'd had a mother like me instead of nice. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up with that Kentucky Fried Foghorn Leghorn drawl! Yeah, I killed Fran, but I guess I didn't. So what do you have on me? Nothing. What, attempted murder? I get arson for the building and a few other charges with a good lawyer, which I have. I'll be out in no time. And then you'll see just how much hell I can wreak on your life, you vicious little... <laughs> what the? Who are you? I'm Turbo, the greatest racer ever. And I did not reprogram this world to let you and that holocaust riddled warthog take it away from me! Turbo Cosmic! <laughs> End of the line, Torch! No one get hurt if you don't play no game. Uh, it's the ship's broken. We had to go. Nobody gets hit. Easy. Because hey! Look at me. Sure. Look at me. Sure. I'm the captain now. I feel nothing. Not the wind on my face, nor the spray of the sea, nor the warmth of a woman's <gasps> flesh. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Neil. Before your queen. I don't think so. It's not possible. Darling, you have no idea what's possible. I'll be a bigger hero than you ever were. You mean you killed off real heroes so that you could pretend to be one? Oh, I'm real. Real enough to defeat you! And I did it without your precious gifts, your oh-so-special powers. I'll give them heroics. I'll give them the most spectacular heroics anyone's ever seen! And when I'm old and I've had my fun, I'll sell my inventions so that everyone can be superheroes. Everyone can be super. And when everyone's super... <laughs> no one will be. Back to that hog's trough where I found you. Do not set yourself up against Patsy, my dear. Because I will rid myself of you well before I do away with her. What you looking at? Damn woman. I won't have my mood spoiled. I will not. Had you not been so selfish, your little girlfriend's death would have been quick and painless. But now that you've really pissed me off, I'm gonna finish her. Nice and slow. You lied to me! <laughs> I have to scare some sense into you, boy. I'm glad she's dead. Hawk, we don't know about. There's no point in either of us dying either, you understand? The way I'll see it, I'll save your life twice now, so I ought to be God to you. God give it. God take it away. You know I can't give you the keys, right, babe?
You're neither. You're an errand boy, sent by grocery clerks to collect the bill. The story of good and evil. H-A-T-E. It was with this left hand that old brother Cain struck the blow that laid his brother low. L-O-V-E. You see, these fingers, dear hearts, these fingers has veins that run straight to the soul of man. The right hand, friends, the hand of love. Now watch and I'll show you the story of life. Now watch him. Old brother left hand. Left hand hates a fighting. And it looks like love's a goner. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hot dog loves a winning. Yes, sirree. It's love that won. And old left hand hate is down for the count. People always say the same thing. What did I say? They say you don't have to do this. You don't. This is the best I can do. Call it. No. I ain't gonna call it. Call it. The coin don't have no say. It's just you. I got here the same way the coin did. Now this looks familiar. Mm. Where have I seen this before? Let me think. Oh, yes, I remember. This is just the way your father looked before he died. And here's my little secret. I killed Mufasa. I might add also that any information that makes a performance of my duty easier will not be met with punishment. Actually, quite the contrary. It will be met with reward. You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? Au revoir, Shushana! My father taught me many things here. He taught me in this room. He taught me, keep your friends close but your enemies closer. Now, if Hyman Roth sees that I interceded in this thing in the Rosado brothers' favor, he's gonna think his relationship with me is still good. Agabit. Agabit. That's what I want him to think. Information, but we believe FN-2187 may have helped in the escape. The resistance is dead! The war is over! And when I kill you, I will have killed the last Jedi! Very nice suit, Mr. Takagi. To be ashamed to ruin it. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. Give me the code. One. I don't know it. I'm telling you. Get on the jet to Tokyo and ask the chairman. I'm telling you, you're just going to have to kill me. Okay. You wouldn't be able to do these awful things to me if I weren't still in this chair. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. 
And tell me, what are these awful things I'm supposed to be doing to you? No, it's not going to stop. It's going to go on and on until you face up to your responsibilities. What responsibilities? I'm pregnant. I'm going to have our child. Alex, that's your choice, honey. That has nothing to do with me. I just want to be a part of your life. Oh, this is the way you do it, huh? Showing up at my apartment! Well, what am I supposed to do? You won't answer my calls. You change your number. I mean, I'm not going to be ignored, Dan. I'll take all of you. Yes, I'll feast on your flesh as I feed on your fear. Or you will just leave us be. I will take him. Only him, and then I will have my long rest, and you will all live to grow and thrive and lead happy lives. If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. They're probably watching me. Well, let them. Let them see what kind of a person I am. I'm not even gonna swat that fly. I hope they are watching. They'll see. They'll see and they'll know. And they'll say, why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. <laughs> Come here. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. I said... Is not this simpler? Is this not your natural state? It's the unspoken truth of humanity that you crave subjugation. The bright lure of freedom diminishes your life's joy in a mad scramble for power, for identity. You were made to be ruled. In the end, you will always kneel. Now, bright boy, I will admit you are pretty clever. But if I took this hammer here and I bashed in your skull with it, you would have the same three dimples in the same place as old Ben. <laughs> Don't lay your palms flat on that tabletop. If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop, Mr. Pooch is going to let loose with both barrels that start off. There have been a lot of lies set around this dinner table here tonight, but that you can't believe. You were going to Dumbledore, weren't you? No. <laughs> As this is an issue of ministry security, you leave me with no alternative. The Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. That's illegal. What Cornelius doesn't know won't hurt him. You know where I'm from? 
When black folks started revolutions, they never had the firepower or the resources to fight their oppressors. Where was Wakanda? Hmm? You know that ends today. What do you think? I think you're very beautiful. I should hope so. Just who might you be? What are you doing here? I'm Dorothy Gale. Dorothy Gale? What's happened to the scarecrow? Come nearer to me. The Gnome King took the scarecrow and all the emeralds back to his mountain and turned everyone else to stone. You will be rather attractive. One day. Not at all beautiful, you understand, but you'll have a certain prettiness. Different from my other heads. I believe I'll lock you in the tower for a few years till your head is ready, and then I'll take it. You know, Billy, what worries me is how your mother's going to take this. Please, no, 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 don't t t tell my mother. Don't you think you should have thought of that before you took that woman in that room? Please, please don't tell me. Mr. Warren? My mother, please. Would you see that the men are washed and ready for the day? M M Miss Ratchet, please, 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 please don't, don't tell my mother. Mr. Washington, yeah. put Billy in Dr. No, Scobie's no. office. No, 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 no. Stay with him till no, the doctor no, arrives. No, 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 I can't attend you here and now as I'd like, but just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> they called me a madman. And what I predicted came to pass. With all six stones, I could simply snap my fingers. They would all cease to exist, and I call that... Mercy. And then what? I finally rest and watch the sunrise on a grateful universe. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. You know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You look like a robe. A well-scrubbed, hustling robe with a little taste. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor wire trash, are you, Agent Starling? And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed, pure West Virginia. What is your father to you? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of the land? You know how quickly the boys found you, all those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars, while you could only dream of getting out. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. You fly back to school now, little starling. Fly, fly, fly. My father was a drinker and a fiend. And one night, he goes off crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. Not one bit. So, me watching, he takes the knife to her, laughing while he does it. He turns to me, and he says, Why so serious? <laughs> 